That was weird. It was not letting me uh, start the stream for a second there. Uh, should be good and live, though. All right. MLB Caesars. Well, things have now. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, we're all quite well. Here's Perez. Lines it. Hey, that could that's a good base hit to start off the uh the old game. Is that his first career hit? Oh never mind, that's Veerling. Sorry about that. Now up is Canna, ball one. All right, there we go. Now I got everything up and moving. I can get my playback up. All right, so much pretty good start to the game. We got uh, at least a guy on. Called strike one. Oh, Perez is the pitcher. Okay, that's what I got wrong. All right. Oh, I got to add. Eh, I hate ads. Oh, another one. Fun. Uh, oh, and or one and two now on another called strike at the top of the zone. Runner at first. Nobody out. Top of the first. No score. What's up, Sean? What's up, Vincenzo? I hey, appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you have a good time out there. Hopefully you, uh, you know, good haul. If you guys want to, make sure you drop a like to help the stream out. Get some more people in here early on. We've only got about an hour worth of a stream I can do tonight. Uh, well, this afternoon, because i got to work at 2. Um, unfortunate. And Canna strikes out swinging. Here comes Riley Green with two, uh, one away, runner on. What's up, Laura? Yeah, hopefully. Uh, we've been pretty bad lately. We're six and four now. So, no, not good. Only upside is that it's early in the season. So, it's about all I got. It's like, eesh. 0 oh, and 1. Still looking for a trophy? Well, you know. Hopefully, it comes your way. Just like I hope my stupid, I hope I get into one of these MFA programs. Running low on time. We'll see, though. One and one. Nope. Just fucking fingers crossed. I'm hoping that with Northern, I just get an offer for a... Uh, That'll be a swinging strike one and two for a TA position ship, and that's why it's taken so long. But we'll see. Green average isn't great, but all the other numbers indicate he's having a pretty good year. Just the batting average hasn't quite gotten up there. Nearly 800 OPS. Uh, was it like, was it 750? Oh, I might have been seeing that. Still pretty solid. And Riley Green has a base hit, gets the runner over to third. So now we have first and third with one away for Torkelson, who could really use a big hit. Yeah, so if you guys haven't done so, consider dropping a like. It'll help the stream out tremendously. What's up, Bobo? Bobo? Yeah, Bobo is probably more right. Strike one to Torkelson. Tork might be one of them uh, slow starters we uh, know about. Don't know why I thought Bobo. I appreciate you, Charles. How you doing, man? Nice to see you. Finally getting warm up here in Michigan. It's 70 degrees. Bit windy though. Hell there, in play runs. Let's hope that's a three run shot. Even a base hit would be good at this point. Sack fly, whatever. Nope, just an RBI base hit for Torque. All right, that'll get up the middle and through. So that'll be first and second now with a run in. Tigers take an early 1 0 lead. Burns versus uh, Ashby. Nice. Doing good. Uh, Charles, how you doing today? 
got to work at too, so I've got a limited ability to cover this game, but figured I'd give it at least an hour. Hell yeah, 0-1 now on Urshela. Hopefully he can pick up another single here. That'd be big because uh, with Riley Green at second, that's pretty good odds of scoring. What's up, Wade? Let's see if we could uh, put an end to this win streak the Pirates are on. What's up, Jacob? How you guys doing? Damn. I think he just hit into a double play. Uh, I'm great today. Impaired? Oh, that's good. Glad to hear you're doing good. What's up, XR? Yeah, he hit into a double play. Damn. Uh, oh, well, we'll head to the bottom of the first. At least we get a run this inning, uh, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, bottom first. Oh, shit, hold on. It'll be Triolo, Reynolds, and Hayes. Uh, Triolo, Reynolds, and Hayes. Then Sawinski, Oliveris, Telez, Taylor, Davis, and Williams. Uh, but again, the top of the order is uh, Triolo, Reynolds and Hayes. Who are the Tigers pitching today? Who we got? Mize? All right. We'll see how Casey does. Hopefully he's uh, a little bit more ready to go, you know? Uh, no one hit a double. Um, it was just a bunch of singles. Anonymous Hacker 5. What's up, George? Welcome back. Your Guardians won their home opener. Nice, Jacob. Yeah, you guys are doing really good. What's up, Kenny? Again, I'm only going to be able to be live till about 1.30. Then I got to dip out pretty quickly. But I'll cover the game until that point. So I got, I got to work. Unless I get a call and say I can come in later or something, which I, which I doubt is going to happen. I don't really share what I do. It's just, it is what it is. You're at lunch? Hell yeah, Kenny. It's always a good time. Your school's open today? Hopefully they fucking tell me I'm getting in. I need them to hurry up. I wish it was. I just don't make any money. Uh, Tigers will be home for eight straight games starting Thursday. That's pretty good. Hopefully they can win some of these games too. Anyway, it's Triolo, Reynolds, and Hayes. Casey Mize back on the bump. Hey, one pitch, one out. That's good. Good start to the uh, good start here. Yeah, it stinks. I just want to know what's going on, in or out. We we may not have this problem at uh, starting in like sometime in May. I just. Got to get into a program. All right, good ground out. All right, now up is Reynolds. It'll be a good early birthday present. Yeah, your birthday's what, tomorrow? The Tigers could win this game. Over for the under. That's about a good over-under. Uh, one and one now. Hope they can get it. I'm not live for your birthday tomorrow, Wade. Happy early birthday. With a, you know how I do like the night on, night off. Um, I may not stream tomorrow night. So I'm probably going live tonight. So two and one. Unless my internet doesn't work again like it did all night. Fucking stupid. That was annoying last night. It'd pop on for a second, and I'd be able to do something, and then it'd just be like, yeah, hey, I'm going to load slow now. All right, they get the second out of the inning. Good job. Two down now with Hayes due up. Another ground out there, so good start. A couple ground outs for Mize. That's good. You have unlimited? Um, I do, too. It's just um, I can't really use my computer with mobile data. And then try to stream off it and watch video and he 
you need Tell or Hayes or Ryans to get a double. Oh shit! Well, we're we're with two outs now and a one-one count on Hayes. I don't know how good of a chance of a double is. I mean, it could still happen. <clears throat> Plus, if I wanted to play the show, I would have to also run my Xbox off of it. And you see how like you see how like uh that would quickly just be like probably just not enough connection. It's five G, but I've only got it for a little for about two three gigabytes. And then it goes to this weird, unlimited, like, 4G LTE style. Where it's like, there, but, you know. One and two. Wonder where they're going to throw this pitch. Inside. Oh, no, they get him to chase a really bad pitch and strike his ass out. Hell yeah. Well, I don't know if they actually get him out. He might have beat the throw down to first. That ball looks like it's way away. No? All right, never mind. It was a ball. I don't know why that says swing and strike. Two and two. Got it as single and parlayed it. I feel you. Well, hey, you know, it's uh, if you only lose like five or ten bucks, then it's not a big deal. Three and two. What's up, Rob? I work at Mickey D's. Hell yeah, dude. I'd be flipping them burgers. Two and two. Or full count that remains after another uh, George. Remember how I said he was a troll and he's going to come back on a bunch of fake accounts, Keith? Well, I, I pretty much laid that up. As what I always do, accurate precision. Uh, oh shit! Here could, it could be a double. Uh just a long single. God, damn, I'm sorry, Das. They almost got the double, but the right fielder cut it out before it got to the corner. So that's just a long single. No, it's just it's just one guy, just George. And Sawinski grounds out. That'll be the third out of the inning. So we'll head to the top of the second. Tigers hold on to their 1-0 lead. It'll be. Keith, Kelly, and Baez. Yeah, sorry, man. They, that got cut off before it got deep enough to be a double. It was close. It was, it was really close. I feel for you. Anyway, appreciate everyone who's coming out. Uh, again, if you're just tuning in, I can only be live till about 1.30, then I've got to go to work. But it is what it is. At least I'm able to be here for this game. I should be 100% live for the next game. Um, let, me, let me look at their schedule real quick while it's um, a commercial. Let me see something. Uh, let's see. Schedule for the Tigros. What day are we on? April 9? Yeah. April 9th. Uh, yeah, the next game, and I should be able to get... F oh, no, I can't do Friday, but I should be able to do Saturday. Yeah, I, I should be able to do the Thursday home opener versus the... Or, well, the Thursday home game versus the Twins. So that'll be fun. Uh, should do be able to get the whole one. And we're off tomorrow, so no game. Yeah, Sean, we scored in the first inning. I can't believe it. Oh, as long as someone hits a double? Oh, I thought it was like a first inning parlay, Das. Someone will probably hit a double in this game. I can't imagine it just being a whole game without any doubles. Hey, we're up at 14 likes. We may actually hit the 20 uh, like goal before I, within an hour. That'd be pretty cool. Before I even have to leave. Um, by the way, if you guys do need a way to watch, it's MLB66.ir, MLB66.ir. One more time, MLB66.ir. Just click on the select game thing that you'll see in the video screen and uh, pick this game. Yeah, Pittsburgh does have a very nice stadium. Mark Wagner is home umpires for the Orioles and Red Sox. Hell yeah, Lord, good luck for them again. You too, Sean. Damn it. 
Colt Keith, uh, Colt Keith grounds out. That'll be the first out of the inning. Uh, now up is Carson Kelly. Uh, probably. I don't really consider anything this early in the season as must win. But they they could probably use a win here to get their shit right. Or at least play in a good close game where they don't lose by fucking by a score of like seven to four. Seven to two if you don't really count garbage time runs allowed. One one. But no, I don't I don't really if they can get through April 500, I'm very easy about this. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. This is the best April I've seen in fucking since like 2016, I think. So from my standards for this month are incredibly low. I literally am just praying we don't only win like seven games in April. You know what I mean? Because we've gone through months of April with like, like we're like 12 games under 500 ending this month. Um so for me, uh, damn it, that's the second out of the inning on a one-two pitch. He uh, looks like he might have grounded out. What do what do he do? Grounds out, yeah, yeah. Above or at five hundred or like a game or two under is completely fine with me in April. We're not a very good April team. We've never really been a great April team, sadly. Not a, I'm not a gambler, uh, Das. But I find betting doubles is better than home runs. Both risky, but doubles are more frequent. Yeah, I kind of agree with that, though. Doubles are a safer bet than a home run. Um, especially even in, like, the launch angle era of baseball, guys, like, smoke line drives down doubles swinging for home runs. So it's not like, you know, especially if you're picking, like, a hot team like Pittsburgh. Like, Tigers tend to hit for a weird amount of extra bases because they got guys who can do that. Um, like this guy batting, who's, who's down 0-2 right now. One and two now, ball up high. But yeah, as long as the Tigers aren't where we usually are, which is nine to ten games under five hundred ending April, I will consider that a complete win. Um, because again, the Tigers, if you go look, they're like a decent team from like June on every single year that they're terrible, uh, minus like 2019. But what kills them is literally the month of April and half of May. That That beginning chunk, they'll be like, 10 and 30 coming out of that first like 40 games and it's like oh no shot at coming back at this um and then the then last year they whittled it down to like nine games uh which was pretty good like last year they were actually good after like june like they were a very good baseball team from june on uh they weren't great but they were like a near playoff team if you eliminate like it's like damn dude we were one of the top like 10 teams in the american league after like uh like, all of our pitching was very elite. That's the third out of the inning we get out. Um, we'll head to the bottom of the second. It'll be Oliveris, Telez, and Taylor. Oliveris, Telez, and Taylor do up here in the bottom of the second. Uh, 1-0. Tigers holding on to a slim lead. Let's hope Mize has some uh, ready to go. Did he hurt his arm? Did another pitcher hurt their arm? My God. You know, I, I've been looking into this. Apparently, um, you know how I said it's probably pitching philosophy? Apparently, there's this very good thread I found about how if you kind of look, um, eventually even guys like Verlander get hurt. There's like a debate going on when you pitch. There's kind of like where you come from is like, I've always been taught you come from this very straight back. You bring your arm forward and then come over the top like that, right? But like there's something that happens with this, if you go look a lot of the guys who have these injuries they're coming from like this weird low angle when they're like it, it's like there's this different angle they come from which creates more torque on the elbow like just kind of do that like hold the ball like you're holding a ball like that and then bring your arm that way you can feel like the torque and there's probably shit that pops in your arm if you actually kind of like swing it across hard but then go like this it's a natural it's more na like there's there's something to like, I think that, and if you look at the way some pitchers pitch and some guys don't, I bet you the, you can almost predict, I could bet you, I can predict strider throws from a down here angle. I bet you, um, uh, uh, Bieber throws from a down here angle. I bet you, if you go, the only one who breaks that mold is Verlander, but he got hurt at like 40 fucking years old. He kind of doesn't count. His arm might've just went, I'm done. Oh, 
that's kind of what happened to Verlander's uh, Tommy John situation, if I'm not mistaken. His was just wear and tear because he's fucking 40 and he's throwing thousands of pitches like Nolan Ryan. Oh, God damn it. It's one to one. Oliveris homered. No, not the pitch clock. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's pitching philosophy and guys throwing like they're goddamn long relievers. Now, I will say if you're a closer, you might be safe pitching like that. But I think, didn't Edwin Diaz, what did he hurt? No, he hurt his knee, didn't he? His patellar tendon, um, not his elbow. Uh, Yeah, I just hope we don't have to put, we, I hope we play them a lot less. Yeah, we can compete against the Rays um, and the Blue Jays, I think. I think the Yankees are too much for us. But if I remember right, did Edwin Diaz not hurt his elbow? It was like his leg. Well, I'll take I hear today about the velocity, respect, how come Randy Johnson, Pedro Martinez. Go look at the way they pitch. They come from right here. Well, Pedro was also technically perfect. Go look at where Pedro's arm is. He comes from up here. Like, I'm telling you, Sean, it's the cray. It's like Mark Wood represents this trade. Like, the picture you could look to is like Mark Wood. That's where, like, it changes dramatically. All those guys, they come from, like, right here. <laughs> yeah, Mize gave up a solo homer. In his right knee. Okay, I thought it was a knee injury, not an elbow. See, and I think Edwin Diaz. But see, like, relievers can come from down here and pitch and, like, create that extra torque because they're not throwing as much. Starters are doing that, and they're fucking... Look, look at Mize. You see how Mize... Does look at where Mize's arm is. Mize goes from down, uh, like, look at Mize's arm angle here. Mize is gonna hurt his arm again if he keeps this shit up. Three and two. Down. See that? Isn't that wild? If you're watching the game, you can see exactly what I'm talking about in real time from someone who just got Tommy John, and he didn't. He like, and again, it, dude, it's so ingrained in modern pitch, pitching philosophy. They don't not do it. Um, they like physically can't go like this. They can't go like and start here. They they start low and then bring their arm up. Uh, well, the health issues are more the concern. He's been pretty solid otherwise. The Niners uh, signed Eric Sobert to a one-year deal. He plays tight end. Oh, that could be pretty good for you guys. Nice little depth piece. So again, you can kind of see what I'm talking about if you go watch certain pitchers. And again, Strider throws the same way. Um, it's it's a very uh, nuanced issue that needs to be corrected at a like fundamental level. Yeah, Mize is a good pitcher. He just literally he just got some health issues. And Tommy John's so common in pitching now. It's like, eh, this is his second start in two years, Jonathan. You got to remember that. If he's a little rusty or looks bad, like he gave up a solo homer, sure. But you also have to remember, he didn't pitch. He got hurt in April of 22. Like, I thought it was much later in the season. I thought he, like, only missed 23, but I didn't realize he missed all of 22, all of 23. And this is his first two games back. So, I'm, I, Mize has, like, a five-game leash for me with, like, rust. I know that may be a little bit of a pandering, but, like, you know. Again, this is, yeah, Kenny's right. It's two years to the day. So I kind of, um, I give Casey a little bit of a pass on him looking a little rusty here. I'm just happy to see he's back in pitching. Hopefully again, in May, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit less charitable if he's still looking, you know, this out of control with stuff. I wish they would have fixed his goddamn mechanics though. He does look a lot easier, though. He is throwing the ball with, like, it does look like he's not forcing it as hard. Which is good. It looks like he did fix most of his mechanical issues. But again, I just, it's just that drag. It's like where they, where their arm is. It's like something about that is, like, destroying elbows, I think. Again, it's adding so much RPM and spin to the baseball. It's uh, probably incalculable uh, for some of these guys. But, you know. You're not, you know, with Randy Johnson, what was he fucking six foot ten? Uh, he always was just going to kind of throw hard just by based on kind of physics. Oh, two and out. 
He just kind of was like, well, if I can learn how to control this shit. And then Nolan Ryan taught him how to control fast pitching. It's something about foot placement or something like that. Yeah, Tigers usually don't get days off on Wednesdays. I think it's their first day off on a Wednesday since the All-Star break in a season. Like like ever. If it's like a non-rain out, yeah, it's, most baseball teams don't get Wednesdays off. This is a weird travel day. Two and two. To be fair to the Tigers, though, they could, they could probably use... Oh, it's a full count, actually. Three and two. To be fair to the Tigers, they could probably use a day off. And they walked Davis. Or wait, what happened? Hold on a minute. Yeah, they walked him. Shit. What's up, Kevin? Yeah, well, hopefully he has a better start. The he he ran into a bus saw hot team. I don't know. Hopefully he does better in a second time. I I can mulligan one bad start. Um, but you know, if we see it again, then it's like, well, maybe we bring Matt Manning up for one of these guys. I could imagine that, uh, Reese does, if Reese has another bad start, they're going to pull him for Manning. I, I bet you he doesn't have a very long leash. Yeah. Yeah. Cena's doing a whole bunch of movie making and he's filming till December. If it's a two game series against the NL team, you don't play fa uh, fairly often. Yeah, I think that there's rules. Uh, plus, the Tigers got to travel tomorrow, so they get a breakdown day. Their last one was taken because of the weather, so. And this was, you know, it's all scheduled. I don't know. It's early in the season. But they're, you know, they're just kind of banking on a nice day. They're like, uh, okay, we cool. We got 70 degrees today. Tomorrow could be rainy and cold. Pretty much, Kevin. Yeah, it's it's too early to panic. This is one of their best starts since, like, the fucking Leland era, so I'm not really too worried. Like, even at 6-4, and four, it's like, yeah, this is one of the best starts we've had since, like, 2016. I'm actually still in a really good spot. Yeah, they get to chill to, at their homes in Michigan tomorrow. Anyway, uh, good shit. All right, they tie it up on the Oliveris home run. Unfortunate, uh, but we'll go to the top of the third. It's Jake Rogers, the nine hitter, then the one hitter Veerling, the two hitter Canna. So nine, one, and two. Uh, Rogers, Veerling, and Canna. Let's see if we can get some runs. I'm predicting a Rogers home run. Hell yeah, Rochester. So man, nice to see you. Again, I'm I'm only going to be able to be live for 25 more minutes, and then I have to unfortunately leave to go to work. I don't want to, but it's it is what it is. What's up, Harley? Yep, they have an eight-game stand. Uh, what's up, Dylan? Hopefully we can at least win. Hopefully we just split that shit, four and four. Let's just hope we can pull something off that. Uh, Oliveris hit the home run for the uh, Pirates. I think that's how you say his name. It's spelled Oliveris. I think so, Kevin. Um, hopefully, Dylan. We just have to hope that things go well. We take a win. Uh, again, the, I think the overall goal for me for the month of April is to hit 500 or um, just under it. I don't want to have like a really bad one. Damn it. I thought that was the email I've been waiting for. But it wasn't. Fucking cleverly titled. Yeah, he killed that shit. Yeah, Karam, be prepared to lose all those games, buddy. You know what sucks is like those games are all in like the afternoon and I work like nine to five all that week. It's like, son of a bitch, dude. What kind of bullshit is this? What happened to my four to tens and my afternoon shifts? Damn it. Anyway, it's Rogers, Veerling, and uh, Cano. I hope so. Green's been hitting really well lately. The batting average doesn't really reflect that, but like the OPS is 818. All the like other crazy numbers that people can measure shows that Green's having a crazy good year. His average is just like 200 right now. It's just like, damn it. Uh, one and one. 
Garcia. Yeah, the whole Rangers lineup you got to be careful with. Young, oh, Young's out right now. Um, I feel like he and he personally murdered us that last time we played them. One and two. Like, he genuinely was the biggest problem in the world to us. That always happens. If a team has, like, a hot shot young rookie, they fucking destroy us. Roger should be catching and Kelly should be DHing, but... You know, he can't really hit that well. And that's because we don't have very good right-handed at bat, uh, batters, and we have a lefty on the mound. And I think Rodgers does hit left-handed pitching. Um, our problem, we cannot hit lefties. And Rodgers strikes out one away. Which is why, isn't Justin Henry Malloy literally right-handed? Why did we call, like, Andy Abanez got hurt, and the Tigers finally called up Wencio Perez. But it's like, oh, Maeda, Jesus. I hate that guy so much. Here's Matt Veerling. He's one for one. Run scored. Ball one. <laughs> Sean. That happened against the Pirates. Oh, yeah. Didn't you guys have like a fight against them? Like a bases clearing or benches clearing incident? Bases clearing is fucking redundant. If they had a benches clearing, of course the bases would be cleared. That'd be wild if like everyone else is just waiting to play and the benches are fighting for some reason. Like, guys, we're not even that mad about it. What are you guys all pressed? Again, I have to go in like 20 minutes. I'm keeping an eye on the clock. It's uh, two and two now for Veerling on a foul ball. One away here in the top of the third. One, one score. I'm just happy I'm able to do some of the game and hang out a little bit. I do apologize. I'll go live again tonight, 100%. I was going to go live last night, but my goddamn internet kept cutting out. I'd get to do like 10 minutes worth of shit, and then it'd just be like, Bleh. and then go into buffer mode, buffer mode, then off, then come back on. And I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm just going to play Dragon Ball Z off offline. So that was my night. Played a lot of Xenoverse. Level 64 now. Beating the fuck out of stuff. I started a new uh, file. Anyway, 2-2. Two, two. And Veerling strikes out on a pitch he should, probably should have swung at. Um, don't really like when guys strike out on pitches that are like in the zone. Like, very obviously strikes. He must have been completely caught off guard. Uh, here's Canna with two away. He struck out in his first at-bat. So we'll play some MLB The Show tonight. Yeah, hopefully we can get some. Uh, yeah, Veerling, that was not even close to two inside, bud. Look at him trying to argue. Like, oh, that wasn't inside? No, that was... Yeah, same here, Dylan. I have to play on, like, Rookie. Or something like that. I'm not very good. Uh, Canna's all right. The 818 OPS is nice. When we're when we're doing well, he seems to be a big a big part of the reason we're doing well. So it seems like he's he he could be one of our better players. Until we like you know realize we should have let Justin Henry Malloy make the team instead of this guy. But hey, whatever. Oh, let's go young or sign. You know, maybe you guys were all right. We should have signed JD Martinez. Maybe I was wrong about that. Because, boy, you know what this Tigers lineup could really use? A power hitting right handed bat outside of Torkelson. Because Baez ain't doing shit. Boy, we could have used like Matt Chapman, JD Martinez, one of those two guys, eh? Maybe we should have signed one of them. Because, boy, you know, I know Torque hit 30 homers and Green got into the 20s or whatever, pretty close to it. And it's like, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's all we had. <laughs> no one else hit for any power. Full count. Is, is Colt Keith supposed to be a power hitter? And yeah, Canna lines out. That's his third out of the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Does anybody know more about um, Colt Keith than I do? 
Does he like eventually start hitting for power, you think? Because he's a giant guy. He's like a big fucking frame dude. So you would imagine there's quite a, and I guess Carpenter too, but uh, Triolo, Reynolds, and Hayes. Top of the order for the Pirates here in the bottom of the third. 1-1 one, one game. I just know very little about um, Colt Keith and the bat. I mean, his average and his numbers are improving a lot every game, so it seems like he's starting to get the swing of it, but the power just isn't there. And with his size, you'd think like, oh yeah, for a second baseman, he's gigantic. That's a power-hitting second baseman. But uh, <laughs> such is not the case. Damn it, I thought that might have been them. I hate new emails when they're not the ones I want. Anyway, I'll be live for another 15 minutes. I appreciate everyone who made it out. Thank you for the likes and everything, too. Um, it's just I got to go to work soon. Triolo, Reynolds, and Hayes. We'll be live again tonight playing some MLB The Show. Uh, tomorrow, the Tigers are off, so that's cool. I won't miss anything. Um, it's an off day in general. And then Thursday, the Tigers play at 1, and I'll be able to do that whole game. Uh, unless, like, it goes longer than, like, 340, which I doubt... With modern baseball, it will be pretty close, but not not exact. Really, four o'clock, but you know. Commercial break. We're just waiting for that shit to get over with uh, and see a pitch. Should be any second. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Did everyone leave? Ball one. I missed it by about about five seconds. Anyway, uh, strike one. One one count now on Triolo, who's zero for one. Pirates have two hits. One of them being a home run, and the other a single by Hayes. Tigers three hits, all singles. And Triolo grounds out to the shortstop. That'll be the first out of the inning. Now up is Brian Reynolds. Pirates legend Brian Reynolds. He's probably my favorite player outside of the Tigers. He's one of them. But I thought he was going to turn out to be a lot better than what he turned out to be. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, he might almost beat that shit out. Got his ass by half a step. Uh, fouled away by Reynolds. Hmm. Nolan Arenado. I should have guessed if he's older or younger first. <laughs> oh, and two. Manny Machado? I don't even know if he's playing third right now, actually. I don't know who. I, I'm at a loss for words now. Damn, Trevor Story's. Dude, like I said, dude, Correa, Baez, and Story have been like the worst signings ever from like what they were supposed to be. Oh, the, the, did he officially announce the number change? Hell yeah. Devers? Okay. I think my favorite player in baseball is probably Tarek Skubal. Hey, uh, hey, Das. Brian Reynolds just hit a double. Alvarez? Yeah, he's terrifying. He's He reminds me of Big Poppy, just a fucking menace. I'm going to hit like, you no, know, he actually reminds me a lot of almost prime Miguel Cabrera where it's like, well, what the hell do you even do with this guy? I don't know how late, but you got it. There's your double. We got one. He's like, hell yeah, we got a single and a double in this game. This is what I needed. 
And now the Tigers are losing. Well, fuck. This is a terrible way to leave this game. Hayes gets a base hit and scores the run. It'll be two to one Pirates with the runner at hopefully just first. Leaders don't get doubled to death here. Yep, just another base hit for Hayes. Yeah, appreciate the likes, Richard. Good night is Henderson. Nice, that's a good lineup. Yeah, this entire Pirates team is hitting like hell right now. Especially Hayes. Hayes and Mullins are two guys who are probably just so happy that their decisions to stay with the like the teams they stayed with has paid off. Mullins like, oh, I'm so glad that the fucking we're not terrible. Oh, I could have wasted my whole career here in Baltimore. And Hayes is probably like, oh, thank God the Pirates are slowly looking up here. Yeah, it's hard to tell which team's good starts will get going. No, they're fine. It's April. One and two. Yeah, I would imagine he's going to throw far more fastballs than anything right now. They're like, huh, weird, he's throwing only fastballs. Like, yeah, I would wonder why a guy off his, in his second start off TJ is fastball heavy. That's a fly out by Sawinski. Two down now here in the bottom third, 2-1 Pirates. Here's Olivares, who's solo homered. They're going to fire Skip Schumacher. He might not last the whole season. Just won 56 bucks. Oh, yeah, congrats, Das. Ali De La Cruz. Yeah, he's pretty good. They both got fit 10 to 15. Jesus. My friend said this is a 71 team. I can't say I disagree with him. Yeah, I base all my decisions. Uh, I mean, you guys might be in a 100 win team based on what we're seeing here this early in the season. Um, so you, what are you guys thinking for the Guardians? Like 100 and 110, 120? I mean, that's what you're on pace for right now. Since you make snap decisions off the second week of the season, what's your um, snap decision? I mean, you, you have to come up with one now. I mean, the Guardians are a World Series team. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. No, see, that's weird. Why, aren't, why not 100? You're on pace for like 120. Are you implying that you're not going to like stay as hot all year? And that it's kind of silly to... Use two weeks to project the rest of the fucking season when it's 162 games. Right now we're looking at like a Guardians Pirates World Series as the way it looks if we just kind of go off what we've seen. Teams don't improve. They don't get worse. They don't, teams never fall off. They don't get better. Never seen it before in league history. It's never happened. But teams never get do bad or do better, though. Teams only do exactly the way that they do in the second week of the season. No team who's ever done bad to start the season has ever turned it around and had a good year, Keith. You're being kind of stupid. Two and two. And no team who's ever started good has ever turned bad. So. Just as a heads up, Keith, maybe you should be more realist and realize the reality that you are what you are in the second week of the MLB season. And they'll get the out there. We'll head to the top of the fourth. They cut the damage to just one run. Two to one here in the top of the fourth. Do you feel a little silly though, Keith, now that you realized you're, you're kind of projecting the season after two weeks? Like, yeah, you have a large sample size of 10 games. 
nine games. It's definitely enough to just go, yep, this is my predictions. Based on that, the Astros are going to be dog shit this year. Actually, the Tigers haven't been, haven't had, has, like, they haven't started this good since 2015 when they made the playoffs last. So, like, yeah, we've seen this movie and they made the playoffs the last time they were this good to start a year. So, what movie are we talking about? Hello? I think the last time they had an over 500 10 game start, there was like the Leland era or like the first year of the Osmus era of the Tigers. So, what movie have we seen before? And what movie are we referencing? Comment, Keith. We're usually like two and eight right now, just as a heads up, Keith. This is where we've been like the last like four or five seasons, like two and eight, three and seven. Probably drafting Max Clark. But he didn't really have to do anything. Fucking Avila built this whole team. No, you're listening. You said we've seen this movie before, Keith. This has nothing to do with last year. This has or the how things played out. Question, Keith. What movie are we talking about? What's what's the movie? What what movie were you referencing? What the Tigers starting good in a season? That hasn't happened since we made the playoffs last. So, what movie are we talking about? Don't don't shift the conversation to something we weren't talking about. What what uh What is uh what movie were you referencing? What we've seen this movie before. Are you gonna answer that? No one's been hype about a tiger season this far into a season since 2015. So what uh what year are you referencing? Genuinely, tell me what year. What year are you talking about? Tigers fans lose hope by game two for the past six years. So I don't, I, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. We see what's on that. We go, ah, oh, shit, this is a bad year by game two. So again, please tell me. I haven't missed a game basically since like 2019, but like maybe, you know, maybe a game or two here and there, but like, yeah, Tigers lose. Again, you can't point to a specific year where the Tigers thought by after game two, they'd make the playoffs. Or even have a good baseball team. Or even before the season started, we didn't think the teams would be any good. Everyone I know that's rooted for the Tigers for the last, I don't know, almost since I've been doing these Tigers games, have pretty much all agreed that we're lucky if we go anywhere near 500. This is the first year I've seen anybody predicting we might go over 500 since fucking 2015, 2016. So Keith, again, can you point to a specific year other than when, like, fucking Brad Ausmus was in his first or second year coaching where there was any actual hype for the Tigers. Please. Other than just shit you made up in your head that doesn't exist. Because there's not a single Tigers fan here taking your side, Keith. Every Tigers fan here agrees with, uh... Langford probably would have been better. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because Tigers fans understand what they're looking at. Like, we knew before the season started the team was going to be bad, and then by about two games, we're like, oh, yeah, this team can't do anything. Do you, do you see the difference there? We kind of could see before the season, oh, this is going to be a really bad year. And then by about the second game, we're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a bad year. Do you see the difference there? You're like, you ignored the four, first week of the se Tiger season and went, Psh, doesn't matter that they won, they went six and one. They're actually the other side. They're actually the second week. Ignore the first good week they had. They're actually this. Like, that's what you're doing. You're, you're being really weirdly selective about like the whole propensity of the season and just going off a few games. 
Like you're you're not being honest here. And again, you're not really telling me what season the Tigers were hyped up in because again, you're now changing the subject again instead of telling me what season in the last seven years have the, have has any Tigers fan had any hope that you're saying the same movie? Um, again, what movie again? What movie are we referencing, Keith? No, uh, actually, you you were proven wrong on all that because nobody thought the seasons were going to be good. You're, again, you're making stuff up. Can can you tell me like what was it like 2020? No, no, no one had hype last year. Everyone was miserable before the season started last year. And in 2020, uh, what was that? 22? Yeah, there was some hype because we signed Baez and we fucking got Austin Meadows. And it looked like we had a fucking team. And then the whole thing fell apart. Everybody got hurt and Baez sucked. Do you not remember what happened in our offseason prior to that? Yeah, there was a reason to be a little hypeful. But and then a month into the season, it was like, well, this fucking season's over. Is that, is that this very specific movie you're talking about? But you couldn't even name the situation or the context behind it because, again, you're just in here just saying shit. Stupid-ass Guardians fans. Why are you in here talking shit again, Keith? What's your problem? See what I said about all Keith does is come in and talk shit? He's doing it again. What's your problem, Keith? Why are you so angry with the Tigers fans? I thought you said you never talk shit about the Tigers and this is all you're doing. No, this is all you do. We weren't even literally talking about any of this. And all you did was come in and just start going, this is like a 70 win team at max for some reason. Like, what was the point of that? Just to be negative? Like, why do you watch my streams if you just hate the Tigers so much and all you want to do is shit on them? Genuine question, Keith. Like, all you do is come in here to shit talk the Tigers. Why is that? Like, I say nothing about the Guardians. No, you just come in unprovoked. Like, what was the reason for you just talking random shit? No, that's all you do, pretty much, dude. That's pretty much all you do. That's, like, Keith, that's all you do. Like, no one here knows you other than a guy who comes in and talks shit about the Tigers. You're not answering anything I've asked you, by the way. You've avoided every single question I've asked you, Keith. Um, why is that? All you said was, every year you guys are hyped up. No, they aren't. Like, no, that's, that's what you do, Keith. That's all you're doing right now. You're talking shit about the Tigers right now. But I got to go, Keith, because I got to go to work. And anyway, it's two to one. Uh, everyone, you guys have a good day except Keith. No, no, you haven't. Keith, you haven't answered a single fucking thing I've asked you. All you did was go, you were hyped last year, the year before. And then I gave you context. No one was hyped last year. And fucking the reason we were hyped the year before that, would you be hyped if your team picked up all-stars in the off season and added to what was supposed to be a good little core? And then everybody got hurt. And that's why the hype went away. Do you understand that shit? Do you understand how that works? Would you, would you have been hyped if your team picked up all-stars? Yes or no? If you answer no, you're a dishonest dipshit at this point. I'm done engaging with you. The only year the Tigers were hyped is we picked up two guys who were fucking supposed to be like very good players in Meadows and Bias. No, you didn't. You didn't say hype because of anything. No, you said hype because of last year too. The last seven years you said this, everything was hype. And then we got it down to one very specific season. You couldn't even re list the context as to why they would have been hyped. You just said that they were blindly hyped because the Tigers fans are stupid, which is why you say Tigers fans are always hyped because they're kind of stupid and don't understand. We know what you're saying, Keith. We understand there's context behind the like things you're saying. There's been one year and probably any time they've been hyped, and that's literally because of the situation behind it. Do you understand how... That's a lot different than your initial claim of seven years. We've seen this movie for the last seven years. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, dude. Dishonest piece of shit. 
That's what you are, dude. You're kind of like a weird liar that gets disproven. And now you're like, well, I have one example that you gave me. Look at that. I gave you an example. Congratulations. 2021. I gave that to you. Good job. Or was it 22? I can't even remember. It was so fucking shitty. Congrats. I gave you your only example. Good shit. I made your argument for you, but I got to go to work, everybody. You guys have a great rest of the day. Hopefully the Tigers can win this game. There's one out here in the bottom of the fourth. If you need a way to watch, go to MLB66.ir. MLB66.ir. Um, no hard feelings, Keith. It's just, dude. There's no reason to lie. That's all. <laughs> no one here has ever been hyped for a Tigers year other than the year we got Baez and Meadows. And that's fucking obvious as to why anybody would have been hyped for that. Yeah, fair enough. I also just, I, uh, I'm insultive and you were being kind of a liar about a few things. I hate when people start doing that uh, quite a bit. It's engaging with a reality that no one sub like subscribes to in in that situation. Again, I'm sorry to yell at or to get mad and yell uh, at anybody if anybody didn't enjoy that, but it's just mad. You and George Keith, that's all you guys do is come in here to shit talk the Tigers. It feels like this is now like the fourth time we've had this uh, back and forth. Just just pointing that out. weird that you're the only person that criticizes the Tigers that I have this back and forth with. Plenty of people come in here and talk about the Tigers poorly and that they need to play better and that they're doing bad. Sean said that Sean said that at like four different times this stream and you just, do you see the difference between you and Sean? That's not all he talks about for the majority of the stream is how bad the Tigers are playing. Anyway, have a good rest of the day, everybody. I appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you for the likes. Thank you for hanging out. I just have to go to work. Otherwise, I'd be finishing the game out. Um, yeah, over and over and over and over again in several different ways. But have a good rest of the day. Peace out. Go Lions. Go Patriots. Of course, it's always go Tigers, even though we can't win right now. Hopefully, they get back to it. It's two away, two one count. Again, go to MLB66.ir to watch the rest of the game. Um, Good luck.